بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله All praise is due to God alone the, 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 This tash that was made has a symbol on it of, um, This is a symbol that's found all over the Muslim world You'll find it, in fact, in Morocco, you find it over the doors of the Moroccan houses. You find it in mosques in India, in Syria. And it's, it's, it's a symbol of the Prophet's sandal. And it's a sandal, actually, that's honored in the Topkopi uh, Palace in Istanbul. The sandal is actually there, and this is the form of the sandal. And the Muslims uh, have always honored the sandal of the Prophet. And it's said that his two sandals were the sandals of fear and hope. And these are the two sandals that are necessary to walk the path of life, to have the, the sandal of fear and the sandal of hope. It's, it's basically paradise in the inferno. And so we set out on this path with fear and with hope. We set out on this path with fear that our intentions might not be up to the standard that they need to be. I know that Fatima Fihriya, when she founded the Qarawiyin University, which is our teacher, Ustad Abdullah, is a graduate of the Qarawiyin. When she actually donated the land to build the university there, which is the oldest university in the world, probably, in the true sense of that, that word, she fasted the entire time that the place was being built in hopes that it would be accepted from God as a place of learning. And we find many, many stories of the early people, the type of sincerity and devotion that they displayed in doing these things. So we, we are trusting, and I don't want to make a claim because the Quran says, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَدْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Whoever truly trusts in God, God will suffice. But I come from a tradition that warns us of making claims. And that's where the hope comes in. We hope that we're truly trusting in God.